Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Rider. I am back on the ASU server, and I am here in the village without a name. Still, I have not figured out what to call this place, uh, but we do. We are seeing some growth, as you can see. There are some children in the village, in addition to our four original people. I thought I had two kids. Maybe they grew up. Yeah, because I got three. Yeah, that farmer's new. You're new, aren't you, guy? Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna put in a little watchtower on the edge of this village. Uh, this area over here is probably a good fit for it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up uh, I'm gonna dig up and uh, put down a foundation and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, that took a little doing. Uh, I ended up moving uh, my foundation a couple times because I was having a terrible time just deciding where to put it. Uh, this is gonna flush it up tight against that tree there. But I think it's a better spot especially for getting to it because we've got, we've got an issue right here with uh, this would not have worked getting down into the room. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. and I had to cook some cobble. Uh, I was going to talk about this time the Mr. Corbett. Ooh, I don't remember if, if it was this bunch of people. Oh, we're cutting the corners from this guy too to round it out to make it look a little bit better, I think. We gotta do this quickly. Uh, Mr. Corbett was a neighbor of Benjamin Willows in Arkham, and one time they uh, decided to have a little dinner party. The, a bunch of the people from the group, and um, while they were having their dinner party, ooh, I'm gonna run out of cobblestone here. They noticed that uh, Mr. Corbett was getting home. He was getting home next door, and when he got home, he dropped something, uh, which looked like a, a human arm. Hmm. That was a little disturbing. So they wondered about it, they worried about it, and they decided to investigate it. Okay, so you can get in. Let's go ahead and close these guys up. So, we're just gonna... Have a little... Yeah, okay. So this has come along nicely. As I said, it's just gonna be a simple little tower. Uh, either two or three stories tall. Probably just two. We're probably gonna keep this one to a minimum. I thought I had some glass somewhere, so we're going to have to find that. Anyway, so they start investigating him, and actually it turned into like two investigations, because one group was of the opinion that they needed to just break into Mr. Corbett's house, and they hired them, they like disguised themselves as painters after um, one of the characters went uh, and tried to just, where did I, I just saw glass, I don't glass, oh, it's up in the blacksmith, I'm so dumb. So they went in. And eventually, uh, according to the scenario, Mr. Corbett asks the neighbor to house sit. Just, you know, keep an eye on the house. So, gives him the keys, get the newspaper, blah, 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 blah. While they're house sitting, they find some books. One is written in Sanskrit, and it seems kind of nasty. And the other ones, uh, there seems to be some indication that Corbett has a kid. Now, they didn't know about it. They knew his wife died a few years ago during labor, actually. Uh, during childbirth, she died. So, what's this all about a kid? Hmm. They all get together. Oh, man, this ended up turning into such a cluster. Uh, I think I'll have enough to do one more floor. I'm low on cobble, so... Oh, I must put the floors in. Yeah, burn, you jerks. So, they, they sneak into the house. They don't really sneak. They've got a key. But they end up breaking in what is essentially breaking in. And, um... Search the house. Nothing's upstairs, so they start looking at the basement. Okay. This is a Max Ryder special, actually, according to Scotty Garbitas. Um, and I, we're gonna light this guy up right up to the roof, so it will kind of have that lit up look. So anyway, they break in, or they get into the house. They. Oh, yes, I caught it. Fantastic. Okay, hold on. Up, up. One, two. Perfect. And that's not enough. I gotta go get some more cobblestone. Hold on a sec, guys. Found some cobblestone. So, they... I think this is gonna be the top floor. This is gonna be a small... It's a small town, so have a small tower. And I should have, should have grabbed a trapdoor. I think I've got some down there. Anyway... 
they find this horrible creature that's like one arm, one leg, and a head in the basement, and they kill it. Um, and they think that this is the, the kid, uh, which it wasn't. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Elliot Macy, the dilettante, I'm just going to make some more, he... Yeah, those freaking... That's right down there. What are you doing back there, guy? Uh, he finds a secret panel. Uh, it's like a door in the back of the closet. So he opens her up, and inside is a horrible, awful creature um, that's made of little children's arms and legs on this big, like, cow-like piece of meat. And it's got a... It's got... What has it got? It's got a mouth on the bottom, like, underneath, and on top is a sphincter, which is... There's just liquid poop coming out and it was just disgusting and he freaks out and he draws his he had um he had a cane that they had gotten the the last do i not have a bench huh i wonder what i did with that we might set this place up to be our house anyway so uh for now we'll do this um stabs it with this cane yeah he stabs it with a cane the sword cane that he got from uh, the Blackwell horror scenario. Uh, the thing flips out and roars out of the room and is attacking people. Uh, the the merchant marine guy ends up getting underneath it somehow. Oh, I need to make a door. <coughs> Excuse me. He ends up underneath the horrible thing. Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, that'll do. The Saddler, the bounty hunter who has just joined them, panics, uh, or his player does, however you want to put it, and Ooh, there she is, pretty nice. It's small, but it doesn't need to be super tall, and it does give you a good view of the, the swamp. Anyway, Saddler had some gasoline. He dumps it out and lights it on fire, so the Merchant Marine ends up burning to death. This catches the entire house on fire. It's a pretty good view. And they flee. Uh, the thing roars out of the house, tries to get away from the fire, and ends up bashing through the front door. Uh, Professor Johansson ran from it, and it just ran by him because it really wasn't interested in him. It was just trying to get out of the house. Oh, I thought it was closer to the tree. I guess I changed my mind on that. Nice. So real quick, let me finish. Uh, they... Oh, it was terrible. Uh... Willows runs for his car. He's going to run it down. And the uh, Macy's butler beats him to it and is, is in the car. And Willows jumps in and they chase this thing down up onto a dirt road in Arkham where they ram it and damage the car really badly. The thing doesn't isn't killed. It, it takes off into the woods, so they take off after it. Uh, they end up smashing into it, knocking up over the top of the car. They total the car in the process and uh, end up trapped inside the car because it crushes down the roof. And... In the end, the thing is dead. They killed it They ran by ramming it with the car. Uh, Total the car. The Cadillac is toast. I think we're going to put... We're going to quick put a... Um, put a chest in here. Uh, and the fire department shows up. And later on, the government shows up. And they end up burning down that... They end up uh, burning down the, the greenhouse behind the house. And destroying pretty much everything. I think this is going to be my little house. I'm trying to decide if I want to indent, embed crafting bench. I think I will. So it kind of ended horribly for them. But at the same time, they did manage to succeed in destroying uh, this awful, horrible creature. And yeah, that was about it. So this is it, basically. I'm going to get a bed set up here in the corner. And we'll get some chests in here. And I think I'm going to call this home and move most of the gear into here for now. Uh, until I get something better. But there you have it. A uh, little watchtower. I'm hoping I didn't go too much over 10 minutes. Or if I did, this will be a two-parter again. So there we have it. A little tiny watchtower. I think next we'll be working on the, um, what you call it? A church up on the hill. And I also have to figure out what I'm going to do here. Because this is real narrow. One, two, three. I can do something three, but that's too narrow. i got to figure out what, to, what if anything is going to go up here. Whoops. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to live there or not. Anyway, so our little tiny unnamed town, which I have to get a name for. Next episode, I will have a name for this town. So i got to do some research. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you all next time.